Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Denise, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best things for teething babies. One of the first things that I think is best for a teething baby are bibs, and not just any bibs, waterproof bibs, the double-sided bibs, the ones that have the regular soft cotton in the front and the side in the back that's either plastic or that has the plastic in the middle. Those are the best. I do have those linked down in the description, so definitely check those out. If your baby is teething or if you think your baby's going to get teethed soon, I would just go and purchase these bibs right now. And not just one bib, not just two, but a whole pack. For my son, I bought like three packs of bibs because they're a necessity. The drool is just crazy. And you're definitely going to need it. So yes, I would say bibs are it. You're going to need bibs for your teething baby. It also is pretty great because when the baby starts to drool, you don't want just the bibs that are cloth because if they drew a whole lot and it gets on their bib and it goes through their bib and it goes through their shirt and it gets onto their skin your baby will start to get a rash what i noticed is that their skin will start to change a different color and you just don't want that so just right now just get the thick ones that have either the plastic in the middle or the plastic on the other side that way the drool doesn't get on their shirt it doesn't soak through it doesn't get through anything you just don't want anything to happen to your baby's skin because of drool waterproof bibs are a plus another thing that's a must have for a teething baby are teether toys whether it's the soft squishy toy or the really hard toy links anything is best for a baby as long as it's baby friendly it's great for a teething baby what I like for my son are the toy links because they have different textures they have different ridges different patterns different colors that he likes that he can just chew on all day another teether that he really likes is this nubby teether toy it it is a little softer than the hard links. The plastic is really good for him to chew on. It's really good for him to bite down on too because it's nice and chewy, but it's not too soft for him. Those are the best teether toys for babies. I do have the baby teether toys linked down in the description below, the toy links, or the nubby toy. Definitely check those out in the description below. They're great, and they're definitely a must-have. Another good thing for teething babies is dissolvable food. The dissolvable foods are also must-have because we get worried when babies put random things in their mouth, if they're going to choke, if they should even be putting certain things in their mouth, but dissolvable food is perfect. Gerber or any off-brand, any teether either baby food or small dissolvable baby food yogurt melts or like baby cheetos those are definitely great another must have for a teething baby is aura gel i do have the nighttime aura gel and the daytime aura gel and it's baby friendly you just put a little bit right on the gums right where their teeth is coming in and it's perfect another must have for a teething baby is a pacifier pacifiers are great you just want to make sure you get the one that's according to their age that way it's not too big if they're too young okay Okay, so that wraps it up for the best things for a teething baby, whether it's bibs or toys or pacifiers or food or or gel. It's all great for teething babies. Definitely check out in the description below. Let me know what do you think is best for a teething baby. Is your baby teething? What do you use for your baby that's teething? Let me know down below. I want to know. Hi again. If you like what you see so far, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. 
button that's right over there and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, let's jump right back in. We're going to be talking about the signs that your baby is teething. One of the signs that your baby is teething is that they're crying irregularly. This may sound weird, but if you know your baby, you know that your baby will most likely be crying when they're tired, when they need their diaper change, when they're hungry, or when they're in pain, like if they fell and bumped their head, or if they want to be held. And if you know that those are reasons why your baby is crying, then you'll definitely notice when they start to have an irregular cry, and it's most likely a sign that they're teething. You know your baby better than anyone. Another sign that your baby is teething is that they're irritable and restless. You've done everything for your baby. Their diaper's clean, they're nice and bathed, they have a bottle, they're nice and full. Sometimes they're just restless. They don't want to go to sleep. They always seem bothered. They pretty much have everything that they could want as babies and they're just not happy enough, pretty much. And sometimes they're just not having it. They could have everything that they could ever want and they could still feel restless and still be irritable. And that's most likely a sign because they're teething. Another sign that your baby is teething is excessive drooling. Around three or four months, babies will start to drool a whole lot. Like they already drool enough and it's gross, but they'll be drooling so much. Like just drool will just be flowing and flowing. It'd be all over their clothes, their shirt, their pants, their socks. It'd be all over your clothes. It will. That's definitely a sign that they're teething. Even if they don't get their teeth at three to four months, they might be drooling a lot. In my son's case, he was drooling a lot at four to five months. Like for two to three weeks straight, there was just so much drool everywhere. And then it just stopped. At the end of six months, he started drooling a lot more. And right at seven months, he got his first tooth coming in. So it's definitely a sign that they're teething when they start to drool a whole lot. Even if the excessive drooling is on and off it's definitely a sign that their teeth are coming in very very soon another sign that your baby is teething is that they're biting babies already put everything in their mouth anything that they can get their hands on they just put right into the mouth but when babies are teething they actually start to bite down and like hold on to things with my son when he was teething he started biting the blanket like he bit and was pulling on the blanket and same he did that to the couch the couch pillows and I was just looking at him like what are you doing and I'm like oh yeah he's most likely teething and yes he was teething his teeth were coming in and he was putting his teeth to work He was also biting his crib. After he got his first two teeth, he was going at his crib, biting the edge of it and scraping it, like scraping the wood off. We had to take action quickly to get him to stop chewing on the crib. But yes, biting is definitely a sign that they are teething and that their teeth are coming in. And even if their teeth are in, they just want to bite down on things with their teeth just to get used to the feel of them. Another sign that your baby is teething is that they start to chew on their fingers. As I said before, babies already put anything that they can find in their mouth. Same with the biting, they'll start to just chew on their finger and if you notice that it's definitely a sign that your baby is teething so that wraps it up for the signs that your baby is teething if there are any signs that i left out please let me know in the comments down below if your baby's teething and they're not doing any of these signs what signs are they showing that they're teething at what month did your baby get their first tooth at this moment my son is nine months and he has his four front teeth the two on the bottom and the two on the top and it's so cute so that's 
definitely let me know how many teeth do your babies have right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the bell, that way you get notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family. See you in my next video. Bye!